During the setup stage of EVE, you'll want to bring your rental equipment into EVE. Now, you can do that in the data module by going to Data, Equipment, Items, New, and entering information there. Though perhaps the easiest and simplest way for you, and a question often asked, is can I import that rental equipment via Excel? To which the answer is yes. If we go to File from the top menu, and then to Import, and then Import from Excel, and then Highlight Rental Equipment, I'm going to click hit Show Template, which will open up Microsoft Excel and show you a template similar to those other templates you may have seen on other videos for customers, stock items, etc. As per usual, please make sure that you leave column A of this template as it appears, because Eve will write an X into each of these rows as the item is brought into the Eve database. The red font marking equipment type is the only mandatory area of data required, i.e., is this a regulator, a wetsuit, part of weight belt, BCD, etc. Now, <clears throat> clearly you'll want as much of the rest of this information as you can bring into EVE, whether that be the description of the item, whether it would be the reference number of the item. You might, for instance, have your BCDs already marked as M21, indicating the, perhaps, the fact it's a medium and number 21. Please do replicate that under this reference number column here so it'll be easy for your staff and for your customers to recognize which BCD is for which diver. Clearly, each of those items of equipment will have a manufacturer. That's another way to make sure that you can always find that equipment very easily. So bring that information in as well. Likewise with color, with size, you can, of course, barcode your rental equipment, and if doing so, by all means, bring in those barcode numbers here. A key area that I would urge you to put against all your items of equipment where a service might be due is that next service due date, so that you can use EVE to track when your next services are due on your school or boat cylinders, on your rental equipment regulators, etc. Now, once you have the file in the form that you wanted, i.e. all of your equipment in this Excel file, save that file anywhere you wish. Easiest place is probably in the default E folder, which I'll show you in a moment. And then return to Eve, and as with all imports, prior to an import, do a backup of your EVE database, most easily done by going to the EVE icon to the top right of the screen and hitting Backup Now, and then EVE will back up to the default location you've set. Once the backup is complete, then go to File and Import again. Keep Import from Excel highlighted. Scroll to Rental Equipment, and this time, rather than hit Show Template, hit the Import button. Navigate to wherever you have saved your import file, open the file, and Eve will bring in the equipment in that file to the database. You'll see here that Eve has found a new size, and this will allow you to either enter in a new size, as you've seen here, the XL will now be available under the wetsuit stock type. Or you could use, as I will do here, an existing value where on the import file the letter M was used, but I'm going to use the existing value of medium. Eve will tell you, as you see down here towards the bottom left of the import Excel data box, when the import file has been fully imported. And now all of that information that you have in Excel about your rental equipment, your school equipment, is now going to be available for you within Eve to use for customers on trips, customers on courses, 
customers who come into the store for ad hoc rentals and as I mentioned provided you've used that service due date also so you can track when the servicing of your own school and rental equipment is due.